Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSC 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. In the last class, we downloaded the 10-foot GIS layer, 10-foot contours. Um, this week, we're getting ready to download some imagery. But when I looked at the imagery, I noticed something. Hey, it spells it right out. We're on NAD 83, South Zone Feet. So, hopefully what I've been telling you is what you see in the area. NAD 83, South Zone Feet is just about ubiquitous. Okay, um, I noticed it was also on the GIS layers from last week. Uh, somewhere in here, I was looking, and it said it's NAD 83. Oh, there it is, NAD 83, South Feet. Okay, imagery. These are SID files. Uh, I've always called them Mr. SID files. Um, I don't know why, but a lot of people do. Um, SID files are more highly accurate aerial photographs of the town of Blacksburg. Uh, each pixel on the picture represents about two feet. Uh, and so it, it's a lot more accurate than like a satellite photo. What you're looking at on this map is the 460 bypass around town, and you can kind of make out Main Street going down through the middle of town. On the left, this is the Price's Fork entrance, and if you drive in the Price's Fork entrance, the first main road on the right is West Campus Drive, which will bring you down to the drill field. This map right below the drill field that has the bottom half of the drill field, uh, we should have Sites Hall. This is on the screen, it says 14.zip. Uh, if you download this one, I've already made a 14 folder on my desktop and unzipped the files into that. Um, but we're going to use that map on our drawing. Now, let's go to CAD. Uh, before we begin, we really need to set our coordinate system. So I'll jump in and say, hey, I'm USA, Virginia. I'm NAT83, South Zone Feet. Verify it, 83SF. Okay, now, um, I don't have anything in this drawing for reference, but I'm going to insert that number 14 map. Uh, I can do that by going map, image, insert, and at the bottom it says all files. I can do all files, or I can probably find Mr. Sid in here somewhere if I look long enough. There it is, Mr. Sid. Uh, Mr. Sid, I want to go to my desktop and find, let me go up another folder, desktop, and find 14. There it is, Mr. Sid 14. Uh, that's the folder I made, and it has a Sid file in it. There's actually a bunch of other files in there, too. What those do for me when I open this is they give me a world file. The world file says, what is the X and Y coordinate where this picture belongs? And what scale density should it be? And you don't have to do anything, you just hit OK. Now if I zoom extents, E for extents, I should be out in the 10 million easting, 3 million northing, and I'm looking at the bottom of the drill field, uh, right here's our parking lot, and this is Sites Hall right here in the back. Okay, so I've got a, a picture that is accurate enough that I can tell the difference between the pickups and the cars and the SUVs because it's a, a two-foot pixel picture. Now, another thing I want to work with you as well as Mr. Sid's Another type of base mapping you can use is a Google, or excuse me, a Microsoft Bing base map. They have road maps and they also have topo maps from, well, not really topo maps, road maps and uh, satellite maps that we can use. On the geolocation ribbon menu, there's an edit location from map, from map, and it says, hey, here's where you are in the world. Um, if you don't have the Service Pack 1 on your map, uh, you will not get this. It won't let you. Uh, 
even if you do have it, you'll probably have to log in with your Autodesk credentials, the account you made at the Autodesk website, to get this to work. Okay, so it says, okay, I'm on a, I'm, I've got a background. What do I need to do? Well, the commands are pretty straightforward. You hit next. You hit next a second time. It'll ask you where to put it. You hit enter and you hit enter a second time. And so basically you didn't do anything but hit next, next, enter, enter. And it puts it in correctly. If you were to have picked a location or specified an angle, you would have screwed it up and you'd have to start over. What should happen is you'll notice that the uh, base map correlates with the photograph. They line up. My data lines up. That's what should happen. Now, you can change your display from a map aerial to a map road or a map hybrid. By doing that, it gives you a different picture, more of like a web map type view, or you can go back to uh, a hybrid or back to an aerial. Okay. So, okay, hybrid doesn't look all that much, all that interesting, but anyway, I'm going to go back to roadmap. Okay, now another thing you can do is a, is a capture area. So if I know the area where I'm working, I can capture area and do a rectangle around it. And what I've done is I've captured an area so that on the road map, I can turn the map off, but I have captured an area that stays with my drawing. Okay, so I have a Mr. Sid. I have a captured road map area. Um, we'll want to put this on a D size drawing at a scale and a north arrow, and we have a drawing. All right, thank you much.